can of secure keep us safe wait that's the name of their product today we're testing f secure internet security part of their subscription service f secure safe the ui is relatively unchanged which is something i like i'm always okay with products keeping a relatively decent ui the components are also pretty much the same since I last tested it, so we're looking for the deep guard, which is the behavior blocker, and the virus protection to spring into action as we get into the test. It does have ransomware protection, although I don't expect much from it, because it's more of a protected folder setting just like Windows Defenders. We also have advanced network protection, the firewall, this is the internet security suite, does block suspicious websites, but we will be giving it our full automated script test which will be done in two phases. If we pass phase one, we go to phase two. You know the drill, let's get started. Now we can turn on the real-time protection and start executing malware on the system. Looks like phase one is complete and we have a relatively clean system. The final proactive detection is 98% with a malware removal rate of 93%. Pretty impressive figures, not entirely surprised given the great track record this company has. Also the fact that they use Bitdefender signatures means they're going to do pretty well in the first phase at least. I did a second opinion scan with Hitman Pro and it seems we have a clean sheet. So without further ado, let's proceed to phase two. Alright, the phase 2 test is complete. We had a lot of failed setups, a lot of things being blocked. We still are getting some of the alerts from that. The proactive detection is 92.4% and the malware removal rate 75.2. Again, really good numbers, but I'm going to do a host of second opinion scans to finalize the results, so stay tuned. The final results are here, time to go through them. First of all, malware bytes did not detect anything, so the system is clean. Hitman Pro, however, detected this one file in app data roaming, is not active, but is present nonetheless and is flagged as a Trojan. Norden Power Razor, which I'm using as an alternative to Zamana, since Zamana is kind of useless now, has also picked up the same file. Since this is the only threat preventing F-Secure from a clean sheet, I actually looked it up in Farce Total. It's detected by 12 engines. The signatures don't really tell us anything. File rep malware, file rep malware, behaves like adware, seems like a heuristic detection. 
hard to say what the file does really. At the moment it doesn't seem to be doing anything, so let's go ahead and execute it and see what happens. And look at that, the application is actually blocked by DeepGuard, which is a secure's behavior blocker. That effectively means a clean sheet because even though the file was dropped, probably by an external setup application which was missed, the actual payload still does not execute and there's no damage done to the system, the malware is still blocked on execution. Overall, a great result for F-Secure, you should definitely check out this product from Finland. Seems like the first great result with the new testing method and who better to get it than F-Secure. I hope you enjoyed this video, please like and share if you did. Thank you very much for watching, consider supporting me on Patreon, and don't forget to subscribe to the PC Security channel. This is Leo, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.